what's going on guys moxification here so today uh i just want to start off uh by saying this is a really easy tutorial now i don't know why people need to know this but so many people keep asking they comment on loads of different videos like so many people like i've had probably like 10 within the past like week and it's just insane that I don't know how people don't know this. Like, it's the first thing you learn when you get a JTAG, and yet people still don't know. But, you know, I mean, people sort of know, but they're not 100% on it. So, um, this is um, how to, like, put a patch or a mod or a DLL or whatever on your Xbox and run it and mess around with mods and stuff on any game. So, I'm going to do it with Modern Warfare 2 because Modern Warfare 2 is... Um, there's so many different things you can do because it's one of them games where it's experienced the, um, the XEX modding and the uh, patch modding. So when I say XEX, I mean uh, the DLL modding um, because, you know, it's not really a DLL. Like, a DLL is for Windows and it's just in the DLL format. Like, it, it's really an XEX. Uh, but, yeah. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by... Um, getting some sort of mod so for example i don't know we're gonna use modern warfare 2 tu8 uh dll so i'm gonna go to uh you know what, let's just go into games i actually had to reset my system because i had a rat but um i mean i've got everything back sort of the way it was uh but yeah so where are we uh modern warfare 2 uh tu8 and we'll do yeah, I think we'll do... Yeah, we'll do the Aspect Modding menu. This is just a DLL for Aspect Modding. So, I'm going to use Neighborhood because Neighborhood is so much easier and more simple. But basically, Neighborhood is XEX menu. It just is. Um, it's just Neighborhood. You get sort of access to a few more things as far as I'm aware. But I'll I just show you basically how it is XEX menu. So, uh, we're going to go into JTAG. Uh, we're going to go into Retail Hard Drive Emulation. Now, this is all the stuff you see in XEX menu. Everything here, but you get more access to it. What I mean by this is, you get the you get access to all of these things, and you can basically uh, get the, for example, launch I and I, and drag it to the desktop, and you can edit it and then put it back on it. It's just a lot more simple and stuff, you know. But yeah, it, you basically do the same thing, but with a USB and on XEX menu. But we're gonna we're gonna do neighborhood i do have a tutorial on how to set up neighborhood uh that will be in the description or if it's not in the description i think it will be but uh, you probably just want to go on google and type in um xdk and then moxa and it will come up straight away and it will probably come up with a few other people's videos as well um but yeah so uh what we have is the dll so what you want to do is find your model morphe 2 folder so here's model morphe 2 you're going to have all of the stuff all of the um uh the system update you're gonna have loads of weird files that you don't know what they are but they're just a load of files that make up the game uh and then you've got the default as well if you just type in def it will come up and then you've got the default and the default you know the default.xex and the default mp uh the default.xex is for like booting up the whole game how you would buy the disc and the default mp loads up multiplayer uh multiplayer instantly so, uh, what you've got is, you've got the DLL, DLL underscore load, this is for TU8, uh, a lot of DLLs will be DLL underscore load dot DLL, but sometimes they're different. Uh, what you're going to do is, you're going to put the DLL underscore load dot DLL on the uh, Modern Warfare 2, in the Modern Warfare 2 folder. You're also going to put the default underscore MP dot XEX that either came with it, um, or a different one that... Uh, you will probably have if you don't have one then you can look it up and you'll definitely find one uh and yeah that's it and then you want to get your tu8 files so tu8 here we are tu8 i've got tu8 files um you can just look these up and you'll find them if you just look up uh, mw2 tu8 files download you will 100 percent find them you might have to sign up to a few sites but you'll definitely find them uh, they're actually also on my website if you go to moxification.com forward slash uh, downloads with a capital D you'll uh, you'll find it there uh, you can download the TU8 stuff there uh, now I'm going to put the patch on because I know right now Modern Warfare 2 is actually currently on uh, title update 6 because I was doing some stuff earlier but uh, yeah so everything's updated now if I hit the default underscore mp dot xcx it's going to uh, load the uh, the DLL so I'm going to make this on 
uh, big so you can see it better. So as you can see, it's modded. I mean, it, it's not modded yet, but it sort of is in a way because you saw the uh, the picker, the menu picker thing. You get you get to pick with this DLL. You get to pick um, if it's uh, off host or on host. Obviously, I picked the on host so I can show you a few more things. Uh, this menu is a pretty cool menu, in my opinion. It's perfect for hosting online. It never crashes. Uh, never. Uh, and the the only time it comes close to uh, crashing is if you click reload game and it just reloads the game. You know, like it basically hits the default again. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, you know, you've got the menu. You've got normal things. It's just a normal mod menu uh, for Modern Warfare 2. You could use this online. If you just look up, if you want to download this menu, you can. It's just, it's on my channel. You can just look up aspect modding um, download and it will probably come up. And then if it doesn't come up, then I don't know. <laughs> it should come up if you're looking on Google. But yeah, so uh, now I want to show you how to load a TU6 uh, mod menu. So... With TU6, we don't actually have DLLs. T TU6 is before DLLs because um, a while ago, when it was TU6 time, when TU6 was about, um, we we had the GSC functions within the game. They didn't. They hadn't removed them yet. They removed the GSC functions um, on TU7, and then obviously TU8 is after TU7, so it's not like they'd add them back into the game. You know why would they? They removed it for a reason, uh, but yeah. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the the default in there, and we're gonna delete the DLL. Uh, where is it? DLL. There you go. Delete the DLL because I mean you could just leave the DLL there, but it's not gonna load, and it may as well just not be there. It's easier if it's not there. Uh, but yeah. So now we want to find a patch. That patch is actually modded. Um, I've. Mm, yeah, we could use this. Yeah, we'll use this one. Um, oh, you see, you can't edit a patch. This is what uh, every now and then I make the mistake of actually um, trying to edit the patch when you're on the game. You can't change the patch if you're actually on the game. So I just went to dashboard, and now I'm going to be able to put the patch on there. We're just going to go to TU6. You know, let's get a different patch. Not because it doesn't work, just because uh, they, I know what one it is, and it's not that good. We'll, we'll go for. Mm, we'll do the K Brizzle one. I think this is the final tree patch. I'm not sure, but we'll give it a go. We'll load it up. Here you go. That time it worked because uh, I'm on dashboard. Uh, you can't change the patch if you're actually um, if you're on the game because it's like it's trying to load another patch. You know, like. The patch is actually the update for the game, so title update 6 patch, title update 7 patch, and we were on title update 8 patch, and so changing it will just sort of change the whole patch, you know? But, uh, yeah, so here we go. Now we, I just loaded it back up as you uh, saw, and I'm, now I'm loading it up. Uh, this is actually TU6. Well, uh, I changed the map, I don't really like Rust for this patch. Uh, I prefer, we'll give it a go on the rail. Here we go. Alright. And then, here we go. Yep, yeah, this is the final tree patch. Uh, I think it's edited a bit, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so here we go. And now this is a TU6 patch. Um, this is a TU6 mod menu. And you couldn't use this online. If you want to get a download for this, you can. Just look up k Final Tree Patch Download. And you'll 100% find it. It's one of the most common, uh, commonly known patches of the Modern Warfare 2 TU6 days. And even TU5, I think it was on. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure of that. But yeah, uh, k, k Brizzle is fairly known in the modding community. Well, he was a long time ago, but he's not anymore. Uh, but yeah, uh, so... Uh, that's basically how to install, uh, we'll, we'll call it how to install m uh, mod menus on the JTAG or RGH. I think that sounds sound, sounds good for the video title. Uh, I'll probably do something like that. But yeah, so you've got the mod menu. I'll just open up the mod menu because I haven't even shown it yet. But yeah, uh, here we go. You know, there's just normal things there. I think that was the mod menu. We'll load up the player menu, then I'll show the admin menu. There you go, player menus up, and then admin menu, I will show now. There you go, and you, then you get to pick from zombies, uh, change map, 
or switch back and zombies isn't that good i'll just pick it now there's no special um things it's kind of like the version one of the i forget i forgot what it's called yeah it's version one of the zombies if version two was in this that would have been pretty cool but nice it's, it's version one but that's fine uh so yeah that's about it uh thanks guys moxification and i'll see you guys in the next video um goodbye